And joining us to discuss how is David Sherna, No Barriers USA Executive Director, and Kathy Martinez, Disability and Accessibility Strategy for Wells Fargo. David, let me start with this. Uh, tell me about the, the No Barriers Summit and what's new this year. Well, the No Barriers Summit is happening on June 26th and 27th, just coming up tomorrow. Uh, and in a lot of ways, nothing's new. In a lot of ways, everything's new. It's the first time in nearly 20 years that we've offered a virtual summit with everybody at home now. That seemed to be the thing to do. Uh, but what hasn't changed is that this event is still about discovering your invincible self. It's about hearing speakers and performers and doing activities that help you tap into the light inside of you that knows you can get through any challenges challenge that you're facing. And I think in today's day and world, we all need a little bit of that hope and optimism that the No Barriers Summit can give you. I love that message. That is, that's amazing. Uh, you're speaking my language. And Kathy, share, share your experiences with disability. Well, I happen to be blind. I was born blind and um, I grew up as a blind child. Um, and I am a, a blind uh, employee. So, you know, I've, uh, really experienced the world as a blind person um, and have been active uh, in the disability rights arena for quite a while. And you're working with Wells Fargo, share some of your experience as a person you've used accommodations in the workplace and now uh, being able to be at home. Well, a, a, a accommodations are part of, uh, of a mandate called the Americans with Disabilities Act, which allows people with disabilities to be productive members of society. I happen to use a screen reader, which helps read uh, the, the words on the screen. Uh, I happen to use a, a screen reader and I read very fast. Um, I go, I get about two to 300 emails a day. So um, because of the screen reader and because of the use of braille equipment, I'm able to work at a bank and and contribute to the economy and my community and david this is uh this is something moving forward we're going to uh, hopefully see a lot more of is how's the pandemic created employment opportunities for people with disabilities well yeah it's really interesting in your intro you said that there's a silver lining uh in some ways what's happening is that companies are realizing first and foremost that we can all be productive members of a business and work from home. And actually one of the most common accommodations that is made for someone with a disability is the ability to have a flexible work schedule. And so what we're seeing in today's society is that flexibility is becoming the norm. And that's opening up opportunities for people with disabilities who often need flexibility to work from home, to go to appointments with their doctors, all different kinds of things. And that's just becoming part of what we now expect to see from a company. And so that's opening a, a window of opportunity for an entire you know, quarter of our population to have new employment opportunities. No doubt, and that is a wonderful thing. And I love looking at the positives and the silver linings in all of this for us. So let's, uh, where can our viewers go to get more information about this and spread the word? They can go to NoBarriersUSA.org and don't forget the No Barriers Summit is going on. You can join for free June 26th and 27th. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate you both joining us. We're going to share this on our website so people can check it out again. Just go to FirstCoastLiving.net.